Hey everybody, Stuart Bradley here. No experience? Are you screwed? Let's cover that in this video today. So I had one of my career intensive students write in to me because they're able to reach me basically 24 hours a day at that VIP level of service. They asked, hey Stuart, I have an interview coming up with the CFO of the company and they're asking me for two to four, they're asking in this role for two to four years of experience. What should I do? Because I don't have full-time experience. And it's that classic issue, no experience, then how do I get experience and so on and so forth. So in this video, I am gonna solve that for you. And we're just gonna take some different angles to this question. And maybe one of those will stick with you. Either way, you are going to be able to get interviews and offers without any experience using the techniques and methodologies mindset that I'm teaching you here and in uh, all my other videos. So definitely like and subscribe to this so that I can get you the information that you need. Comment below if you have any questions. So this individual in our program got invited to interview. First of all, what does that mean? It means this, if you have been granted a chance to interview, especially with a senior leader, you already in principle have what it takes to get the job. You already have what it takes. So if you're sitting there with that interview coming up and you're looking at your lack of experience, recognize that that is not a factor here. That is not what is going to hold you back. Your attitude toward your experience, if you feel a lack of confidence toward your experience, that extends to an overall lack of confidence in your presentation, now that will matter and that will cause you to fail the interview. But keep in mind, if you are sitting at and sitting with an interview opportunity coming up where you don't have the required experience on the job description, already recognize, excuse me, already rec recognize, <laughs> recognize that you have won. You have won already. You have been granted the opportunity to interview. You, in principle, have what it takes from the perspective of the employer. So congratulations. Now, how do I address a lack of experience when I'm interviewing, even if it's just a year? Maybe it's not as extreme as no experience versus two to four years. Any gap or anywhere where you feel like you're missing something that's asked for is going to make you feel uncomfortable. So I just want to kind of peel back the curtain, peel back the curtain for a moment and explain to you that job descriptions are designed by people who are basically blind. They don't know what they're going to attract. They haven't seen the future. So they put a lot of stuff there just to try to make their time spent on the responses as efficient as possible. If you have half of what is being asked for, definitely apply because these job descriptions are often somewhat inflated. And when they meet the right fit, especially for qualities that they can't buy in the market, like confidence, they can't spend money on that. You can't go out and buy honesty. If you have those things, you're gonna be having the harder things to come by already, even if you don't have the experience. So you're gonna be in a good spot in terms of getting the offer. So how do I address this lack of experience? Well, let me just lay it out. Experience to some extent can be replicated by research, by your orientation on getting results. What do people say anyway when they say they want experience? What does that even mean? Experience doing what? Experience doing this thing that we do? Think about it in a simple, simple way. Companies are out there trying to get results. You have a track record of getting results even without any experience. Through your classwork, you've gotten results. Maybe you did some projects. 
Maybe you've done some internships. You are getting some results. And at the moment, you either project and package yourself as a results getter or you don't. So if you're coming into an interview situation where you feel you lack experience, guide your comments, guide your approach, present yourself as somebody who is focused on getting results. Now, for those of you who've done the Stuart resume training, you already have bullet points which feature your results. So you know how to present and pitch your accomplishments. If you're interviewing and you're worried about your experience, solve this through having a results focus and by doing a little research and then by bringing these two together. So I am somebody who's focused on results. What does experience mean? It means someone who's had experience getting some results for companies in the past and maybe ideally in that area of the job description. So let's say you don't have that. Focus on how you have gotten results. Focus on how you are focused on their results. Okay. So an example would be, let me just think. So I'm walking into a company that does ABC and they have completed XYZ number of projects. Well, you can explain, hey, you know, I am somebody, although I have not worked full time in XYZ before, maybe you don't even say that. You say, I have been successful in helping accomplish ABC in the past in my prior projects. I understand that you are interested in doing DEF and have done XYZ of them before. So I think I'm in a great position to help you. So take this approach when you're coming up on an interview situation where you know you lack the experience. You've been granted that interview because in principle, they already see that you are qualified. Now they just want to get to know you and see if personality wise, you're a fit. Do you show up confident? Are you able to make eye contact with the people in the room over video or in person? Are you excited about the prospect of joining the firm? Do you understand what the firm does? And are you able to show your interest in getting the results that this firm cares about? Every organization is a sales organization. They're always trying to sell or you know, some service, some product, ultimately solving a problem in the market and generating a return for investors. If it's a nonprofit, same thing, generating an impact on the money invested. They are a results focused organization focused on selling their services. Before they can bring you into the company and let and help them sell their stuff, they want to see that you are able to sell your stuff, meaning you. You are the most important thing to you. So if you're a member of my programs, you're focused on that branding and developing that talent for selling yourself, a little bit of personal influence, if you will, in how you present yourself. So absolutely no experience, no problem, no experience required. You've gotten the interview. Now just focus on that fit and how you've been able to get some results in your own unique way and how you understand what their focus is and what their intended results are and just bring them together in your presentation and how you answer your questions. Like and subscribe to this video. Thank you so much. I will see you over in the next video.